So the title of this video is a thank you and an apology. So the first thing I want to do is to thank um, all you guys who are doing the Albert Appreciation build and joining in with that and making a kit of something British which uh, was something totally out of the blue um, that Andrew started, Airy Styring, thanks uh, Andrew and uh, and then he was in cahoots with um, Charlie Mack and made it into a, a group build, which uh, I really do appreciate. Um, obviously, uh, it's just something that um, um, it's a bit weird, if I'm honest. Uh, I don't mind uh, doing <laughs> building appreciation for for other people, but it just feels a bit weird for people doing it for me. And I, I but I do. Um, I do really appreciate it and uh, as I say thanks ever so much um, for, for doing that. Um, I'm trying to get around everybody's videos um, to you know personally thank them. Um, if I have missed anybody then please just um, just let me know and put, put a link or whatever and uh, and uh, I'll get across and uh, and obviously post something uh, in appreciation. Um, so that's the thank you. The apology is that um, I may not have been um, viewing or posting comments on just generally on people's videos. Um, I, I try to do my best um, to to obviously encourage and whatever, and, and just see what you guys are up to and be involved in in. Um, in what you're doing, um, which is uh, which is the whole reason behind the community. Um, but um, um, basically, my dad's not very well at the moment. Um, he's, he's in fact he's seriously ill. Two weeks ago, we had a um, I had a phone call to say to get to the hospital. Um, a, my sister had been trying to get in touch with me. He'd been admitted to hospital. And um, when I walked into the um, room that was off the ward, I basically walked into my two sisters crying their eyes out and two of my nieces crying their eyes out and my dad in a very um, bad way in, in the bed. And uh, we, we honestly thought that, uh, you know, that, that was that was going to be it. <clears throat> but um, what happened is, thankfully, that um, uh, it would appear that he was in some kind of... He, gone into some kind of coma <clears throat> and um, and uh, he came out of it so the problems with my dad at the moment is that um, he's uh, his liver is um, packed up his kidneys are packing up and he's he's got um, like a heart failure as well um, so we knew that he had a, a limited amount of time possibly left um, we, it was suggested that he may have another two years and what the problem is is that because he hasn't got a, a functioning liver um, his body all our bodies create toxins or, or um, you know have, have bugs within our, our system and the liver basically sorts those out for us well because he hasn't got a liver a functioning liver um, his body can't get rid of the toxins in the usual way and so, um, if you like, his his body, his own body, is poisoning himself. So the, the poor bugger has been through um, quite a bit. Uh, um, I don't want to be too graphic, but they've been giving him laxatives to help him get rid of the toxins in some other way, um, just to get them out of the body. Um, the other issue he's got is that he's retaining water and has to have that um, basically um, what, what would you call it it's um, basically they put a needle in him and uh, they drain it off um, so but it's a vicious circle you see because they you know they get rid of the toxins then the body builds them back up again so then they have to be like giving laxatives and all that crap pardon that and uh, and then he gets rid of them again and then the body builds them again so and 
this is having a um, an effect on him um, physically. Uh, obviously, he's um, <clears throat> it's it's uh, his body's um, taking nutrients from his muscle tissue. Um, <clears throat> uh, it wears him out, so he's not um, getting he's not as uh, active as he should be, perhaps. Um, <clears throat> and so he's become very weak, um, and at the same time relies on other people a lot more than he used to. Now, thankfully, um, to a certain extent, he, um, my sister and her family live with him. Um, I say to a certain extent because obviously, it, if he does return home, then you know the burden of his care uh, will fall on them quite a bit. Um, so what's been happening is that um, my sister has done uh, does quite a bit of uh, visiting. Uh, my other sister who lives um, about an hour and a half away, she she comes uh, as often as she can um, and then I visit dad as often as I can which um, initially was like every night for, for two hours after work or whatever. Um, but um, that's I've made that a bit intermittent now because, um, you know, at the end of the day, my dad is in the right place for his care, and you know there are. If this is going to be a long-term thing, then there's no point me. Um, well, there's no point really any of us um, burning ourselves out over the next two, three weeks, and then have nothing left for him. Um, you know, for for whatever takes place after that. So the the apology is that um, that I have So I just wanted to let you guys know um, <clears throat> why it is that I um, that I'm that I'm perhaps not as active um, as as I you know was. Um, <clears throat> if if obviously once things settle down with dad and um, we perhaps get a bit, a bit more of a routine, then then I you know I will I will come back and and hopefully be a bit a bit more involved um, um, as I was um, it's just uh, it, it's a bit, it's a, bit um, it's a bit crazy that uh, you know as I've meant or you know I said the thank you for the um, appreciation and you know people say that he's an active member of the community and then <clears throat> and then I'm not <clears throat> you know once this uh, is taking place so it just feels a bit wrong somewhere but um, <clears throat> I know you guys are um, understanding and things like that, and uh, um, you, you know, hopefully, you'll bear with me whilst uh, whilst this is going on. Anyway, um, uh, I just want to say uh, thanks again, and um, um, look after yourselves, and uh, I will catch up with you soon.